The angels came and delivered him. Look at somebody and say, if you want to be delivered, God can deliver you. Look at somebody else and say, if you want to be delivered, God can deliver you. While this man was locked up between all these soldiers, and Haran was going to make sport of him the next day, but when God ain't finished with you yet, you ain't going nowhere. The angel came and got him, led him through the course of the prison gates, right out into the street, right over to Rhodes in them house. When Haran woke up the next morning, he was getting ready to make fun with Peter. But God had already changed his plans. Y'all listen to me right now? Many times when you sought out to do something and the devil tried to mess you up, God had already made other plans for you. If you only do something critical, if you realize that all the fruits of the Spirit come through truth, righteousness, come on somebody, and goodness, you realize that God is operating. The Bible said when the king Harah was looking for Peter and couldn't find him, he questioned all the soldiers. You know what the penalty of death for losing a prisoner? I would sure hate to have been one of them soldiers on that watch. Come on, somebody. Every last one of us got to watch. The Bible said watch. Come on, somebody. The king had these men killed. And then the king still set up a feast. Got all dressed up. Were looking good. Had all his people in place. And the Bible said he got up and he made the most beautiful speech that even the angels Attended. The people hollered and screamed and said, It's the voice of an angel. It's the voice of a God. He spoke as an orator. He spoke out of the depths of his being. But one thing he didn't use, he didn't use no common sense. What are you saying? I'm saying this man tried to get all the glory. And forgot to give God the glory. When you think you're so important that you want God's glory, when you think you're so important that you want to deny yourself, then you're seeking God's glory. And God said, my glory, I will not share with another. The Bible said, I want you to listen to this. I had to, I've read this many times, but I did some own, my own research. And I looked at this thing, and the Bible said that when he finished speaking, that God hit him with a stroke. God caused him to collapse. And in the process of his collapsing, God commanded the worm to eat him before the people of God. Now, I want you to understand something clearly here. He didn't just collapse from the stroke. When you don't give God the praise that's due to his name, when you don't worship God like you're supposed to worship him, you don't thank him like it's your last day on earth, and you stay clean and reserved and all, you know, I'm all right. God going to bless me anyhow. And you know you owe God our worship. And some of y'all saying, why are you looking at me like that? Because I ain't got nobody else to look at.
And you can say to yourself, that pastor, he is something else. That's right, you something else too. Amen. Look at somebody and say, critical. critical. Go ahead. Analytical. Look across the room and say, when the last time you used some common sense? Get mad with the car and go and kick the tire. Uh. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? It would be real funny. Come on, somebody. If that tire kick you back, would it? <laughs> it reminds me of a funny story about uh, the, the man who was chasing the rabbit, and now the rabbit got the gun. It ain't funny now. Come on, somebody. The Bible teaches in research that this king who killed one of God's men, it's a dangerous thing to play with God's anointed. It's a dangerous thing to play with his people who call by his name, who have humbled themselves who have turned from their wicked ways, Amen. who have been healed because of their deliverance, yes. and look to him who's able to fulfill that which he has spoken and to bring it to pass. Yes. It's a dangerous thing to play with God's people. This man killed James, and then he tried to kill Peter, and then he found out, I should have left them alone. Come on, somebody. Because he just didn't collapse from a stroke. He just didn't collapse, and the worms ate him up. The worms took five days to eat him before the people. God wanted the people to see when you mess with my people, you're playing a dangerous game. When you're messing with God, Lord, you're playing a dangerous game. You're better to be in a place where a millstone will hung about your neck and throw you to the depths of the sea than to offend one of my little ones. Praise God. This is Pastor Watkins from Community Revival and Outreach Ministries. I trust that you enjoyed that wonderful service we just uh, had, and I trust the Lord that it touched your heart and your spirit, and it also inspired your soul. But beyond just listening to a message, we also ask you to accept Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior. And how you do that, you just simply ask and bow before Christ. And if you're willing to lay hands upon your TV or bow your heads right where you are or sitting, if you just bow your head with me and we'll pray the prayer of faith. Heavenly Father, we truly thank you for all things in the wonderful name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. That you forgive us of all our sins and have mercy upon our soul. And that not only you save us, O Lord, from our sins, but, O Lord, that you would sanctify our hearts and sanctify our souls as well as, O Lord, baptize us with the Holy Ghost and that with fire. We accept you, O Lord, into our hearts and our life. We confess our sins and we believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God and that God raised him from the dead. And by believing and accepting this, O Lord, we claim to be saved in his holy name. We give thanks and praise for all things. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. I trust the Lord that your heart is fixed with the Lord and that your blessing will be assured and that you'll come out and fellowship with us. And if not with us, your, your own local church in your area and that God will be a blessing to you until we see you again. Take care and God bless. Bye-bye.